Non si può
kind of with Harappan civilization moving towards south because we have found the traces of Harappan civilization in the south. So there is a strong belief that Harappan people, there was something happened. Some of them just got buried under and some of them who realized that uh, you know, this area is not safe because as I said, Mohenjo Daro, this is a city which was built in nine times. The, it would get covered by the flood seven times, seven times. So uh, it would get destroyed by the floods, then they would build it again, get destroyed. Right? So some people probably got tired mm -hmm. towards the south. And uh, some who still lived there, there was some big upheaval, either of the or huge uh, flood, which destroyed the entire civilization. After that starts our baby thing. It is possible that uh, there was huge destruction. So these people started moving towards west, east. From one side moving towards east in the Ganga and Yamuna Goa region. Okay. So the first phase we see, the Vedic period when we see, there are there is first early Vedic period and then later Vedic period. The early Vedic period lies between 1500. You know, BC is a big number, it's a number. 1500 to 1000 BC. And the later Vedic period is from 1000 BC uh, to 500 BC. So, jab Ved, when we study Vedic period, we have two phases. Early uh, Vedic period and later Vedic period. An early Vedic period is from 1500 to 1000 BC. And this is from 1000 to 500 BC. So the so as I said, they started moving towards the Ganga, Yamuna, Loa. They were Earlier, when that shift was taking place, they were earlier the cattle wearers. They depended a lot on their cattle. Then, the cattle came, they started moving towards the Ganga Yamuna Doha. Once they came to the Ganga Yamuna Doha, they settled because uh, the land was fertile. And uh, by then, they also got iron implements. So, they started agriculture. So, the minute they started agriculture, they had Settled established life and they started towns and cities. Are we early Vedic and later Vedic? Why is it called Vedic period? We come to know about this period from the Vedas. Okay. Therefore, this period is called Vedic period. Because we understand who the people were, how did the people live, what did they do? the kind of their history, social life, economic life from the Vedas. And therefore, because we come to know about them through Vedic texts, it is known as the Vedic period. It's as simple. So what is the literary source of understanding this? There is a written source. For this, we have written source. What is the written source? The Vedas. Okay. So, the, uh, so there are Vedic literature. What is Vedic literature comprised of? First of all, four Vedas. We come to know about them from Vedic literature. Four Vedas. Any idea what are those four Vedas? Sadhguru Veda, Karma Veda. Sabse pehle? Sadhguru Veda. So it is Rupu Veda actually. It is, but in English we write it as Rit. But uh, they say it's a very wrong pronunciation because Britishers pronounced it that way. We probably are pronouncing it, but it's actually a root. Rug Ved, Sama Ved, and then we have Yajur Ved, the Yajur Ved, and then the last one is Atharva.
Apart from that, what comprises of Pali literature? Okay, now. Apart from that, we have the Brahmanas, four Vedas, and the Brahmanas. Aranyakas and Upanishads. This comprises of this makes very clear. These are the books from which we come to know about early and later Vedic. So, what comprises of Vedic literature? The four Vedas. Yes. So, Vedas, Samar 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 Vedas, and Upanishads. These are all different kinds of books. Now, we'll learn about each one of them in detail. Okay, for us, in detail. Okay. Good. So, how do we say that? Musayi. Okay. Uh, simple. Rugby. First book written. Uh, actually, na, ye book likhi bhi nahi thi. they would learn, they would recite. Before that, we have to understand that this Vedic literature is divided into two parts. It is called Shruti, this Vedic literature is divided into two parts, Shruti and Smriti. Okay, Shruti and Smriti. What is Shruti? Shruti they say that the God revealed the text to the Rushis. So they say that the Shruti was revealed to the sages by God. And then they passed it, passed this knowledge orally to other people, to the generation. See, Kabina, the art of writing had not developed yet. So, how did they pass the knowledge? By reciting. And other Smriti is the literature composed by the Rishis. Okay, so they say that. Rugved is like a is, is a shruti. It is a are you we can go to Bhagavad Gita. Abhi logical or clear thinking mein bolo na to. I don't think Bhagavan aake kuch bol raha hai. So that was the early rushi whatever they wrote was shruti. And then whatever the um what was composed by the rushis was but you remember it was divided into two. Shruti means to hear. Smriti means to remember. Okay. So what basically there were these early uh, sages they heard what they were their earlier sages said. Remembered, heard and passed it. Learned and passed it. Whatever they had passed, the later sages, they remembered and they wrote commentaries on that. Oh. Okay, so that was Smriti. Okay. I will tell to go into detail. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so uh, what was Rukhve? So Rukhve is considered as the oldest religious text in the world. Okay, Ruk meaning uh, the root. 
religious life, what different uh, religious practices were. It is open there, yet the fans are on. The lights are all gone. Let's see national okay. Yajur Ved social and religious life of Aryans and the hymns to be recited during Yad. Okay? Why why? Yes, why why? Yadnya Yajurve. Social and religious life. Abhi Yadnya kab karte hai? Tumhane kab karte religious. Religious. So. Abhi kubko religious Yadnya karte ki zarurat kab karte hai? Yeah. Yeah. Puja karta hai. Kab puja karta hai? जब बंद करें बहुत बार ना क्या सेल्फिश बेटा चाहिए पूजा करो अच्छे मार्क्स चाहिए पूजा करो बिजनेस थोड़ा ठंडा चल रहा है पूजा करो ओके सो दैट्स सो दीज़ आर सोशल कस्टम्स इतने लोग अरे बेटा चाहिए मतलब दिस इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ टेल्स आर इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ बॉर्ड इन द सोसाइटी पीपल गिव लॉट ऑफ in those days, crop fail ho gaya, chalo puja karte hai. Ya crop achcha aane do, chalo puja karte hai. So that tells us ki agriculture was practiced. Kya kya calamities aane hai. Kyunki jab wo puja karte hai, samayi jab hymns bolte hai, if you have ever heard those pandijis in hymns, what they would say? Sab kush rakhna hai, let there be good, let there be a good shower, let there be good crop, let there be peace, let the mind, let this person who's performing the puja get abundant wealth. So that tells us the kind of social custom, the kind of society, what practices they have. Okay, so you come to know a lot through those hymns that were said. Abhi history matlab kya cha directly dikha ni ho ta. इससे वो लोग इंटरप्रेट करते हैं, दे इंटरप्रेट तो उसमें भी जब दे अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट काइंड ऑफ लाइफस्टाइल एंड यू नो रिक्वायरमेंट्स द पीपल हैव इन दैट टाइम। यानी अब सोशल रिलिजियस लाइफ, व्हाट वाज अथर्वा वेद में? अथर्वा वेद टॉक्स अबाउट मैजिक एंड चार्म, लॉट अबाउट मैजिक एंड चार्म and mainly about the daily problems. Athena Vedic, you know, is slightly in a dialogue form, question-answer form. And then the person is asking daily problems and the text is giving answers to how those problems can be solved. And it also talks about, it deals with subjects like knowledge. It deals with subjects like karma, that is action. And uh, karma and upasana. It also talks about the medicines and treatment of various diseases. So the early um, Ayurveda, the reference, if you are studying Ayurveda, if you ever decide to study Ayurveda, Atharva Ved is part of it. The reference of that is in Atharva. So, Atharvavay contains many things. So, the early medicine and the treatment of different diseases is in Atharvavay also. Yes. Or uh, the early reference of yoga and the yogi practices is in Atharvavay. Also, like many things that has natural, that can naturally heal you while the things that started in India. Yes. The, the basic study of Ayurveda, yes. the references are in Atharvavay. It has documented. This has documented the, the medicines that were used, the natural medicines that were used, and the treatment of various diseases. It also, 
डे टू डे लाइफ में क्या यही बेसिक होता है ना गेम में कोई ये प्रॉब्लम है कमर में कर रहा है गिर गया बूंद हो गई है किसी ने काट लिया आई हैव आई हैव हेड ए तो देयर इज अ डीप कट तो उसके लिए क्या ट्रीटमेंट होना चाहिए ये सारे डिटेल्स यहां पर जस्ट वन क्विक डिवीजन रुक गए व्हाट डज इट टॉक अबाउट टॉक्स अबाउट द
So the answer is Shruti and Smriti. First part. Two categories are Shruti and Smriti. We have to define what is Shruti and Smriti. It did meaning knowledge, not a good thing. Did meaning knowledge. No, no, did, did. Did means knowledge. Did, did means knowledge. Did means knowledge. Okay, and the second part is, why is it called Shruti? Because we see Right hand side paragraph. Yeah. Main literature is divided into two parts. Co paragraph media. I just believe that. Choose the sages by God and they pass on that knowledge orally from generation to generation. What is the answer? Name the four data. Ah, okay. It is in the next book, page 16, DJ report data. Next question is, state what things in each way be easier. So, read 17. The Rig Vedic hymns give us knowledge of the life of the people. The life of the people of the time. Mila? Okay, page 17 page. Page 16 page. Yeah. Second, Samadhi, end of the part, I know of Samadhi. The hymns in Samadhi were meant to be sung at the time of sacrifice. When the place. Yes. Third, Yajurve hymns. Yes. Go, last part, the line of Yajurve. The hymns in this Veda throw light on social and religious life of Maya. Or Atharva Ved, uh, just write, deals with magic and charm, just Sutta part with the underline karna. Mila, magic and charm and treatment of various diseases. Uh, sorry, medicines for the treatment of various diseases. Last one I have, we should read it. Atharva Ved, Mila, deals with medicines for the treatment of various diseases. Now, now what were these Brahmanas? You know, her day ke baad, na, there was a commentary. As I said, the day was always in the uh, poetic form. Now, when I'm teaching poetry, uh, I can't explain a poem, right? For explanation, I have to come down to prose. So, the saints, the sages, they wrote commentary, what in a prose form. They wrote what this means and they gave examples to explain that. So every day has a commentary on it. Like chapter 1 and its commentaries, chapter 2 and its commentaries. Those are, that is the Brahmins. 
the explanation of these Vedas in a prose form for the students to understand. Uh, so that is Jamna. So they explain again the social, religious life, the rituals, all that. Or gain to Sara, we are Vedas men. But it is in the poetic form. Explain here. Okay, it's the meaning you can get. So um, explain it with examples. Uh, and so then they wrote, yeah, and they plus they wrote their comments that why you should do it. If you if you do this, then how about life will be fruitful and how you will so have like the moral story story. Exactly. Actually, now apart from this, I'm telling you, if you read any Indian literature, it was completely in the story form. Now, these were the study books. They came, so because they were they had to remember everything orally. Other books may be so it is very really difficult to remember. Therefore, they had devised this method of teaching children even the medicine and difficult science through stories. Uh, so they will remember, so the children will remember, it will become easy for them to remember. So all this is like a poem, sung with different melodies or taught in the later part, taught through stories, lots and lots of stories. It so happened. Uh, in the later part, I said, what are we? But no, teaching a science school year, stories yada. And then, see, I mean, where it is for Sikhari. Okay, this is story yada. If you put it up for your story, maybe you could see bad manage of philosophy, but if you knew your story yada, means the teaching is science. Oh, science school year. You said, don't go story faster. Don't go adi story yada. So he start to work the essay and towards the end of the orally pass of the year, oh mythology. So so, Jisne ko teacher padha tha, yaad rakha tha, lift diya tha bani, uski paas ho rahe hai. Because everything has to be handwritten. So, wo handwritten, so body kam tha. Because like, paancho loog padha hai, unke paas do handwritten ho tha. So, sabko baki ke loog ko to bas ratana hai. Yaad rakha, yaad rakha, yaad rakha. And yeh, abhi unko yekha padha, to kutta kaya hai. I don't know when I get into this, I end up giving too much of information. Confused by Dora. Ramana, then what are the Aranyakas? Aranyakas are basically Aranyas for it. So those sages, uh, the hermits, they lived in the forest and taught their students. So when they lived in the forest, they basically taught so much about astronomy. Then they taught so much about medicine. Whatever they and the living in the forest, about the different plants, all that is uh, in Arandakas. It's basically about mysticism. This what is this word? What is this word called in the world? What is the importance? Like all this mysticism and philosophy. And then they would sit there and watch the stars somehow. And they would water about all this. Okay. Then the Upanishads. Uh, again, they are philosophical commentaries on the Vedas. Brahmanas okay. explain here what Vedas are. Upanishads are philosophical commentaries. Mm -hmm. Philosophy, Haritya, Niyamini philosophy in life. That is their mention. And in this, they have mentioned karma, moksha, maya, all this. I explained in detail. 
and there are different types of upanishads uh, the most famous of these are chanda yog uh, or chandogya chandogya upanishad ena upanishad aitreya upanishad and taittiriya upanishad do you have upanishads to study otherwise there is this question mention any two upanishads you don't have to make one first page first page to answer okay i'm i'm going to download the upanishad then let's see do you have dharma shastras maybe maybe you take it out धर्मशास्त्री
memory. These effects are called time and memory. It means people are reading this for generations. If you read it for 15-20 years, if you read it for 15-20 years, you can find it so interesting. So that is the greatness of these books. And even today, now the story of Mahabharata is a little more complicated. It starts much, much earlier than what the basic story is here. And I would suggest you must read, you can enjoy it more. Uh, but basically, there was this team, he had children, uh, a god, there was Panda and Kavu. Panda was the five, brothers and the hundreds. These are all cousins. This is basically property dispute, I think. The story of property dispute. The family. Family feud. Yes. So, here you have the family in Chanda, Angama. वो सब जरूर यही है। हाँ, so it goes that there were Pandavas, there were Kauravas, or else Kauravas were the sons of Dhritarashtra. Dhritarashtra was blind, and therefore he was not made a king. Or Pandavas were the sons of Pandu, who he was the second son. But because Dhritarashtra was blind, the second son was made a king. And it so happened that he also died. And uh, he then he died yeah, at a young age. His wife was Kunti. Kunti took care of his children. And Dhritarashtra, though he was blind, was made the dominant king. When these children grew up, they needed, uh, they said, Dhritarashtra was Pandu's elder son. Yeah, Dhritarashtra's elder son was Duryodhan. So Duryodhan wanted to be the king. But Yudhishthir was elder than him, so yeah, Yudhishthir also wanted to be the king. They said Yudhishthir should be the king because he is elder and he's Pandu's son. Pandu was the king. You were made king because he died. That was not like the rule. Huh? Yudhishthir was made king and then there was, uh, they played a game and that, they gambled basically. You that. In that gamble, he started uh, putting the video. He was you know, he lost everything. He lost his kingdom, he lost everything. And then the last set was okay. The last bet would be if you have to go to the uh, you have to Barbas, you have to take Barbas and one year of Adnyata. So the weights are Nobody should be able to identify you, and if you find out where you are, you should be hidden somewhere. Disguise yourself. And if you find yourself, repeat those photos. They say, okay. But this tells you that Hitna only command. They had established an empire, and then they lost everything in a super time. They lost that too. But had to go back or had to go to uh, a bus, they took him and in the forest, they lived there. One year of Adnyasas also they completed. They completed their bed and then they came back. They came back and they said, Well, you can see we lost the bed, we completed everything as you said. Now we were, we were our empire back. It's a what empire? There is a famous Zalor, he said that I will not be with. And he said, Fine, let's give up. You will get you, you will be empire. So now. We also are rightful heirs. So divide this between us, divide it in between two. So you will not even give the land or the sweet to where Jitni Rangani, the Utri, 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 the So finally, this feud led to a war. This war is known as Mahabharat, War of Mahabharat. They say it lasted for 18 days. Achha, 
ये बहुत पहले से चल रहा है Second one is the second one. It's a very big 
The Bhagavad Gita, which forms the part of the Mahabharata, is one of the most popular religious texts considered sacred by many people. See, the answer would be the Bhagavad Gita, which forms the part of Mahabharata, is one of the most popular religious texts. Okay, Mahabharata. Then, the, come to the next slide. The interest of self might conflict with beauty. And whenever there is such a conflict, the Bhagavad Gita gives the answer. And come to the last line, it teaches that the soul is immortal. Got it? Mention the importance of the epics as a source of information about the Aryans. When you study these epics, you come to know about the Political institutions, can say political institutions, how kings were ruled, who be could become the king. Um, it would tell us about the society, what kind of society we had during that time, the cultural values, the culture. Then, uh, see, it also tells us about the family war, the family life, the, brother, the love between brothers, the duty towards the brother. All that values, the family values that are practiced by the Aryans. If you see, it also tells us about the different Aryan kingdoms, their armies, the kind of war, the battles that they fought. The battles tell us about the kind of weapons that they had, a lot about that. So, and through this, we also come to know about the philosophical values. So the answer to this is on page 18, the importance of epics. First point, the epics serve as the main source of information in the question is importance of epics. Okay. It tells us about political institutions, social, social and cultural organizations. Mila Pahela, political institutions, social and cultural organizations. Then second, provide information on various Aryan kingdoms, their armies and the weapons they use. Then fourth point, it also reveals the high ideals of family life of the Aryans. I think these three points are more than most. Which battle is known as the Mahabharat and how long was the battle fought? And if you have that box, Mahabharat ka box, you see, second last paragraph, Johan. After the completion of the exile, the Pandavas asked the Kauravas to return their kingdom, but Duryodhan refused to give anything. So the war known as the Mahabharat followed. How long it lasted? 18 days. Abhi iske aage kya kya hai or you have all this? Iron artifacts and all that? Iron artifacts or pottery, yeah, but the origin of the Aryan is not here. Or still, after pottery, there is nothing else to do with the Aryan. Except the last page. That's it. Okay, I'm going to go to the last page. Okay. Okay. So now we come to see the Iron Age started in India in around 1000 BC. So why it is called Iron Age? Yes. Right. At that time, we started using iron. Yeah. How do we know? Because the iron tools which are they trace back to thousand years. Okay. 
उसके पहले ब्रॉन्ज मिलता था ब्रॉन्ज सो दैट पीरियड वॉज नोन एज ब्रॉन्ज इंच ब्रॉन्ज वॉज नॉट एज स्ट्रॉन्ग एज आयरन आयरन वॉज अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग मेटल and therefore uh, it marks a very important stage because iron ke implements they started making iron implements and these iron implements were then used for agriculture but now the aryans had reached as i said the uh, the ganga yamuna goa where the land was very fertile and because of that it gave rise to agricultural because of agricultural activity the minute they started to agriculture they started to have have a settled life and you have a land that you have you get good crop you get good crop you settle there and year after year you can take crop so they started living settled life that's how the villages grow over the period of time when they started selling the excessive crop the trade started and the towns grew so agriculture we we find that uh, this use access First, they started using axes to clear the forest because it was a forest area. So they started clearing the forest and cultivating the land. So they had sickles and plow, plows and hoes and all kinds of implements. They could make this iron and they could carry out agriculture very very well. So iron age goes with agriculture. We get the reference of different kinds of production. In the early times, we only have the reference of we only hear about barley. And as the years pass, they started growing rice, started growing uh, wheat and barley, of course, rice, wheat, barley, vegetables, different types of foods were grown by the late farmers. Um, what were the occupations then? One was agriculture. Second was what do we need for agriculture? Water supply. We cannot make water supply and so on. But something that we can make iron implements. All kinds of iron implements. So that became so iron smiths. became the a different occupation, one more important occupation that for people who would make these different kinds of implements chisels and saws and what all the different kind of iron implements iron implements yes well, there is a picture of iron implements see they are not as fine as you find them find it today but then yes But at that time, it must be that. Probably, yeah. See, this just today. Plus, um, these Dalians also you had cattle. Mm -hmm. So cattle and agriculture. So milk, milk products, tanning, leather work, all that was also um, quite uh, an occupation. What we understand is that we, they are known for their Grey bear painted pottery. In the way British, uh, not British, the way Harappan people are known for their pottery. Here we have grey bear pottery, and uh, the painted grey bear was a very very fine, smooth, even coloured pottery. Now the pottery we see are the pictures. That is the pottery of that time. They were painted pottery, and it was fine, smooth, even coloured, and it made a. It was. Um, it was a very made from a very high quality clay, and there were many geometrical pictures and pictures of sun and different kinds of patterns. Okay, so it tells us that basically. Very civilization was becoming an advanced civilization. So they knew how to make good kind of soil, how to procure good soil, how to turn 
soil into a good soil and make it smooth plus go ahead and paint it so that also tells us about the artistic skill so for the really important uh, and that to paint it gray wear polished water let's mark your answers looking at answers please state the role of iron in the development of agriculture during the vedic age the role of iron implements is important see that agriculture paragraph page very is to 19 by the way i have written 20 19 19 Discovery of iron gave the Aryans new implements like axes to clear forests and cultivate the land. With the use of iron plowheads, uh, plow sickles, and hoes, they could bring vast tracts of land under cultivation. Mila? With the reference, second paragraph, second paragraph, agriculture plus second paragraph. Discovery of iron gave. What's it called? Discovery of iron. Ah. They named it that. Where's the line again? Discovery of iron gave Aryans new implements like axes to clear the forest and cultivate the land. Did you show me?
acquire spiritual and uh, philosophical knowledge, acquire knowledge, that is the time. And from 75 to onwards, 75 to 100, we take charge of some. So we charge to our no, no, no. I think that is like a lot of in Hinduism, obviously. Like, how are you going to do I don't remember how we call that God in Hindi, but in Bengali, we call him Lokna Baba. So, he was like a person who lives for. 100 and something 80 years. I don't know how, but he just lived because he was born and something. And See, it's not human being. 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 In those days, life was more difficult. Mm -hmm. There were not as many medicines as we have today. So, the number of people dying was more actually. Because so many people were like, I mean, for them it must be like that now. <laughs> they know that part of this base, like this rate and this. Then probably the whole world is going to be the same. And that time, there was no Proper record of anybody's birth. Abhi to proper ke proper calendar hai. Tabhi to mood ke isme wo pancham pancham banana de de. To kiska kabi likha pata nahi. Is tarah ko bhi base karne se chupaya tha. Kyunki ye pehle hi hua. Kya? Aas pas. Chota sa. I mean, kya hai? Abhi bhi matlab pehle jo naya naya ye hua. I just apna India freedom mila tha. To ye hua tha. Kya bolte? Senses. Huh? Senses. Ah, but the baby, the birth record. So they were like just existing, but they were actually existing on a cheap So there was like a big problem at that time of this population count right now. I mean, it was like very necessary to keep. But there are still some cases where they have a there is a chance that you don't have a birth certificate because you live in like a very remote area. Or that you are just a, a tribal person. Tribal person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I know not a tribal person. I remember some 10, 10, 10 years back when there was census. So um, our school was put into doing that census along with many other schools and the teachers were pushed in doing that. So you had to go from one house to another. Luckily, I got a decent area. Uh, good buildings where everybody was educated. I didn't have much problem. My friend, she got those small houses, you know, very houses, very small houses mm -hmm. in, I don't know if you know that Turun area, but that area in Vashi, Vashi and Khabar. Okay, it's there. It is small, small house. So uh, she went and had to write everybody's name and uh, so she went and asked her man, uh, okay, 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 the man was there. Uh, okay, so she said, what is it? Aji O Kedder. Aji O Kedder. He just calls her O. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's not. Oh wow. <laughs> 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 so then he called her. Uh, and then she told her. Then she said, I have a birthday. So, I think that I have a birthday. I have a birthday. I have a birthday. It's like So, Bombay that's happened in 2005. So, the biggest moment. So, as they would have 
उनको बोल दिया जाए ऐसे होगा ना तो ये मतलब कहा मैं बाढ़ देखने जाऊँ और कौन सा बाढ़ ढूंढने जाऊँ उसने देखा नहीं क्या बच्चे इतने साल के तुम्हारा एज नहीं
That's how the trees start. So the later when it is agricultural circulars, we have to break. And uh, it gave rise to markets. So there are different markets that started selling to different areas and to the neighboring countries also. So once there is once there is trade, with trade comes city life. With trade comes money basically. Just if trade shall be done, less are better. The more the more you have money, your you, your village starts changing into a city. That's how the towns were established. So they started moving towards city life. Then they introduced coins. Earlier, they, but and there was barter system. You understand what is barter system? Or trading? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. So barter system was popular then. But uh, there were they also minted coins. We have also found coins because when the king was there, he every king basically tried to mint a coin in his own name. So that was true. What were the occupations? Everything related to this. Traders were there, craftsmen were there, potters were there, fishers were there, fishery was practiced for this. Lot of people, water, Ganga, Yamuna. Uh, then they domesticated animals. So uh, leather was practiced, iron implements were made, so iron smiths were made. So these are the different kinds of uh, spinning and knitting were the occupations of that time. Uh, do you have this comparison? Because most of the time they ask this early day and later day. Do you have the comparison? No, the comparison. So, uh, Family was the year, they have given nice comparison. The women enjoyed, you know, you will find how in early days period the women enjoyed great equal rights. They had freedom to study so what they were doing. Uh, in the later Vedic period, we find that um, there was significant change, decline in the status of women. Earlier they were given, they had a right to education, they would also perform yagnas. But later on, as surprising in the later period, period, we find a lot more restrictions on women. So like just you went back or something? As they started, as they improved financially, uh, see, I, uh, now this is, a, if I give you the reason, it will again, nothing related to it. Yes. What is Colin's belief is um, there was a lot of there was money, mm -hmm. there was property, mm -hmm. okay, there was joint family. Mm -hmm. I mean, joint family may you have teen ladki, char ladki, mm -hmm. or teen ladki. Okay. Other, if I have to divide my land in four boys, and plus if I may even give to three daughters, then it will be divided among seven. So what do we do? So they decided to exclude the girls and only divide it among the men. Okay? Because this, these rules are made by men. Oh, okay. So it was only this match. Yes. Exactly. So they only thought about that. So they realized that every man if we start including women, then um, we won't get as much financial benefit. So it all comes with money. So, so therefore, it was easy for them to not give share. If you don't want to give share, then you should make the society which is made or inferior men, men are superior. So only so they made rules. And when they made such rules which will favor only men, then the women, the importance of women started making up. If only if you have financial independence, you can be assertive. So, when they did not give financial independence, it cut down their importance. There was Guru Guru system, both the princes. Worship of nature, your religion became more complex in the later Vedic age. Caste system was not rigid during early Vedic period. It became very, very rigid 
will take the very uh, So, these are some important points. Worship of nature, religion, between religion. Economy also, cattle was important source here, land became important source of wealth. Earlier it was cattle, it became land. Uh, main occupation was domestication of animals, here agriculture became main occupation. So these are the distinct differences. Do you have any more questions in this room, Mark? See this question we asked many times, last one. See two important changes that took place in the society in the process of its transition from early Vedic period to later Vedic period. Significant of the length of status of women. Yes. Your, women enjoyed equal rights, significant decline in the status of women. Hello, 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 Second part. Then society, there was women. Second point. Third point, rigid caste system did not prevail. The caste system was becoming rigid. Mila, kya? Everything went wrong in the data with the And then, uh, uh, worship, then, the worship of nature and natural phenomena prevailed. Religion became more complex. And in the economy, mein, cattle was the important source of wealth, land was the important source of wealth. Main occupation was domestication of animals, agriculture became the chief of occupation. What is Buddha? Question number two, structured questions. Is it time for your break? It starts for 4.20. It's already 4.20. Oh. I'll give you five. Sure. Question, structured questions will mark uh, after we come back. 15 minutes later, then we'll go. Then we mark this. This will be the okay, I will say.
the role of fire and elements. Then the Bhagavad Gita is the popular religious text uh, of the Mahabharata. Okay. And uh, it teaches the soul is immortal. Again, yay. After the completion, what is known as Mahabharata War and how long it lasts. So basically, Penleka or Uski Baad, uh, question number nine. Samja kya? The role of iron implements. The role of iron implements is. In India, Iron Age began in 1000 BC. And um, uh, iron was a harder and than copper. It was cheap and available in plenty. And discovery of iron, iron implements were laid before. The discovery of iron gave Aryans new implements like axes. To clear forest and cultivation, cultivate land, and with the and the iron implements, they also use iron implements like low heads, sickles, hoes. Yes. Okay. Iron implements. Then, uh, using the iron tools, the iron is cleared and edged for this. The iron tools were the iron implements used by the people to know that it's the school. Okay. Same to answer, Jana. Explain briefly class division, position of women in Henry, four stages in Henry. What do we do? Should we mark? We don't have this, right? No. State the methods used by the Aryans in agriculture. Why was domestication of animals important to audience? Here, yeah. right. right. how was trade managed during this trial? Right. Identify the and give me the answer. I think yeah. how was trade managed? Wala economic na hai na. Trade paragraph. Uh, so was it trade paragraph? Uh, how was trade managed during the trade? Trade agricultural surplus led to trade giving rise to market to a trade paradigm. Twenty six. Page twenty six. Page twenty six. Trade paragraph. You know, both. You have trade, right? This side. I mean, they explain the four stages in the life of an Aryan. Do you have that Brahmacharya Ashram, Vihastha Ashram, Sanyasa Ashram, and Manavastha Ashram? Like what are those? What's the way to do that? Yes, 25, one, up to 25 age, Brahmacharya Ashram. So what do you ask from 25 to 50? Then from 50 to 75, it's Sanyasa Ashram. Sanyasa Ashram is the last one. No, last is Mana Prastha Ashram. No. Yeah. Also. Mana Mana Prastha Ashram, Mana Prastha Ashram actually. Mana means jungle, Prastha Ashram means Prastha Karma. Okay, so Sanyasa is what I want. Are you sure it's not there? So we want mark. Uh -huh. Three, right? Yeah. Okay. Good. So very interesting to study. In that case, um, I'll give you two, three answers to learn. Question number two, three. Question number two and three. Okay. Two and three. Short answers. Uh, short answers. Uh -huh. Question number two and three. Uh -huh. And uh, 
Question number nine. Two, three, nine. I'm writing here. Question two, three, nine. Five minutes. First, learn and then write. But once I'm done, I can start writing. Yes, once you're done. One more thing. Um, since there have been so much, so much, please tell me how what do you have in journalism and nutrition here? So that I would start with journalism and nutrition and start with the next lesson. And first start with the next lesson, fourth lesson. Okay, I'm starting with constitution today. After this, I'm starting with constitution. But Hage Jati na. Then Okay, tell me the names of four Vedas. See what the hymns in each Veda deal with. Yeah, the sources of uh, sources of how the people and they lived their life at that time. It contains the Gayatri mantra and probably after the Samaveda means the melody. Uh, the 
the hymns of Samaveda were meant to be sung during the by the priest during the sacrifice. Yes. Uh, that's a question. Like Jajur Veda, the hymns in this were used to light on light on, to light on social and religious life of the Aryans. Yes. And then it, 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 it was used during uh, the Yamanas. Yes. Now the Veda. The Veda is hymns deal with magic and charm and it also gives uh, of the it also gives information about the medicines and about the treatments for various diseases. Now you tell about Akhar yeah. Some things also deal with treatment of disease and medicine. Yeah. Okay. It also showed the philosophy of the people at that time. Yeah, it was very common. Yeah. 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 But the real benefit is for Mahabharata to play and it continues for it. That's it. Only these questions, sir. Huh? If you have finished learning, you can write without seeing. Try and if you have any other, you can see. If you have any other, you can see. Take a
हो गया So now we can start with the next lesson, the constitution. Any idea when was when our constitution was implemented? Ah, it was a time issue. No. It happened in 1950. It was such a time. It started being implemented by the military. Because the constitution was completed by 1949, I think. Yes. Is there any specific day? 26. Yeah. That's why we celebrate the yeah, public day. So, the constitution was implemented on 26 January 1950. Question is, what is constitution? What is constitution? Yes. Okay. Okay. Like fundamental rights and rules for like every person of, of the country. Okay. That's right. It's a book which contains a set of rules and it also tells us about the rights and duties of the citizens and the manner according to which a country will be governed. Okay, so you told me right. What is constitution? First thing, it's a book. What does it contain? Set of rules. Plus, rights and duties of citizens. Plus, manner in which country will be. Okay, there are these four things. What is constitution? It's a book which contains set of rules. 
it also tells us about the rights and duties of the citizens and it also tells us about the manner in which the country will be governed okay so everything is covered in this book as to how to rule a country how to govern you know rule a country how to govern a country what are the fundamental rights what are your duties what are the set rules everything volumes of the documents um how did this work start when did we start doing it actually it started much before india became independent during independence the indians were asking that now we want freedom so when they demanded for freedom there was this mission called cabinet mission mission here means a committee so a cabinet mission came to india this a committee came to india which was known as a team of members in india which is known as cabinet mission according to this cabinet mission plan in 1946 they proposed they they came here to discuss with the leaders how india will get freedom and one of the proposals was there should be they should set up a constituent assembly okay so cabinet mission plan told us suggested to set up a constituent assembly theek hai yahan tak theek hai this happened in 1946 cabinet mission came in 1946 okay then uh um, and they said that the members of this constituent assembly will be directly elected by the provincial legislative assembly matlab tabhi jo lower house tha india ka provincial legislative each state had legislative assembly the each province india was uh, see we need to understand india before independence in the states were not as they are today the provinces so the whole india was divided into provinces north states so there was bombay province there was madras province there was bengal province and uh, these were the important provinces delhi province now what was not bombay province bombay province included parts of maharashtra parts of gujarat parts of karnataka and even the sindh So you understand that whole area was Bombay province, Bengal province. Bengal province was today's state of Bengal, Bangladesh, Assam, Orissa, and Bihar. All this together was one province. Now each province had a legislative assembly. Just like we have a government of the lower house, Mandrada of the rest. Okay, the legislative assembly. so they said that legislative assemblies will elect the members of the constituent assembly uh plus there were princely states there were many many princely states the princely states will also nominate few representatives a key constituent assembly is wo group ya yeah, jo leaders they will discuss the constitution तो इसके लिए यू वांट रिप्रेजेंटेशन फ्रॉम एवरी वे सो सम विल बी सम विल कम फ्रॉम ईच प्रोविंशियल असेंबली सम विल बी नॉमिनेटेड बाय द प्रिंसली स्टेट्स बिकॉज़ देयर वर मेनी प्रिंसली स्टेट्स आल्सो सो द टोटल नंबर दे डिसाइडेड वर द कॉन्स्टिट्यूट असेंबली वाज ऑफ अनडिवाइडेड इंडिया वाज ऑफ 389 मेंबर्स Oh, okay. The eighty-nine members. The constitution was to be framed by this constituent assembly. Uh, but it so happened. Okay, now it was decided. This was the assembly. 
इतने सारे लोगों का एक प्रेसिडेंट होना चाहिए the president of the constituent assembly and who was the president of the constituent assembly dr rajendra prasad was the president of this constituent assembly okay abhi kya hua this was the time the muslim league said you don't want to be part of this we don't want to be part of this because we don't want to be part of india so they decided they said we want separate pakistan we will boycott this they boycotted the they boycotted the uh, sorry constituent assembly and because they boycotted the constituent assembly now the constituent assembly had only To ninety-nine members. Oh, sorry, not two ninety-nine. Ah, uh, India's two ninety-nine. Yes, two ninety-nine. Now they have only two ninety-nine. Samjha, kyun two ninety-nine? Ah, because of Muslim League boycott. Yes. So, उतने सारे members निकल गए. So they had almost ninety members. So all those ninety members came out. Then we don't know. We want, don't want to be part of India. We don't want to be part of the Constituent Assembly. We want separate Pakistan. We want separate. We will form our own assembly and we will draft our own constitution. So the number got reduced to two ninety. Now they decided, fine. We want our own country. We want our constitution. We will continue the war. And they continued. So now the Constituent Assembly. Which was at 389, got reduced to 299, and continued the work. They did not wait for it. Now, uh, the cabinet mission plan. According to this cabinet mission plan, the cabinet mission plan had ensured the representation. This is अरे सब लोग आने चाहिए constituent assembly. So according to cabinet mission plan, all the sections they only included three sections. represent representatives of three sections only so they were see the cabinet they they suggested the people should be elected from three categories what were these categories general category jab we talk about general category means all the hindus in short okay magar we hindu bolna textbook mein acha nahi lagta so they call it general category oh. so the general categories or the general population That is obviously, and then, uh, sorry, then the Muslims, Muslims, and the Sikhs. These were the three categories. These were the three categories. Is it? Okay, make sure that general category के लोग होंगे, Muslims होंगे और Sikhs भी होंगे. There has to be some representation. इन दो तो मिलना ही मिलना है. Okay. Then. The Indian government, so, but then the Congress leaders, they said these are not the only categories in India. We have scheduled castes. We have a large section belonging to scheduled castes, scheduled tribes. We have uh, Anglo-Indians and Indian Christians also. So when they are saying we have to, we have, we want representation from everyone, we can't exclude them. So. they also included so indian national congress also included agro-indians indian christians scheduled caste members members of scheduled caste and whites so they said now we had representation of everyone in the society okay so now this is a constituent assembly with 299 members where everybody got every section of the society got some representation had some representation okay and the work started yahan tak samjha kya hua ha when the 
started the work of drafting constitution pandit nehru proposed the objective resolution ek and i will not rush with the information we'll mark some answers then we'll understand kya kya hua yahan par aur aap yahan par क्योंकि पहला चैप्टर तो बहुत ही छोटा सा था ये भी छोटा सा व्हाट इज मेंट बाय द टर्म कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन वो पॉइंट है जो है इसमें नीचे से एक पैराग्राफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इज अ कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव डॉक्यूमेंट कंटेनिंग the set of rules that is and duties of the citizens of the country is carried out this is the carried out that rule bhai wo dekho pencil wahan pe hai constitution is a comprehensive document carried out जो मैंने वहां पे लिखा था सेट ऑफ रूल्स डिस्क्राइबिंग राइट्स एंड ड्यूटीज ऑफ द सिटीजन्स एंड द मैनर अकॉर्डिंग टू विच द गवर्नर्स ऑफ द कंट्रीज गॉ ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ विच प्लान वॉज द कॉन्स्टिट्यूट असेंबली कॉन्स्टिट्यूटेड कैबिनेट मिशन प्लान बस एक ही बोर्ड है आंसर इज कैबिनेट मिशन प्लान ओके विल कम टू ऑब्जेक्टिव रेजोल्यूशन रेजोल्यूशन डिस्क्राइबिंग द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ओके अ रेजोल्यूशन विच डिस्क्राइब द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सो वॉट आर द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सो ही सेट डेट्स फॉर डिसाइड द ऑब्जेक्टिव एंड देन फ्रेम द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन टू फुलफिल दो ऑब्जेक्टिव वर एंड द That it will be a republic. First objective was it will be a republic. Yeah, we have to be a republic. What is republic? Which is I think democratic. Yes. And <laughs> republic. Republic. I think the pop where the public is like people of a country like. Can make decisions for the whole country. Second democracy. The republic is a country where every post is elected and no post is elected. Oh, that's all. So even the post, the highest post. What is the highest post in India? Prime Minister. Idea, actually, president. Yeah, but how about in India? President. It's still president. Yeah. So everything has to be signed. real powers nahi hai but it is the highest post okay he is the first citizen of it even that post is elected not held like in uk though they have the best of the democracy but you they still have queen and that post is hereditary so prime minister of course elected so every one every post in republic is elected Even the highest post, the all the social, political, and economic democracy will be guaranteed to all people. 
Okay, so democracy in all forms, social, economic, political, guaranteed to all people across the country. That is our objective. The Republic would grant fundamental rights to citizens. This Republic of India will give fundamental rights to all its citizens. Do you understand what is the difference between just rights and fundamental rights? Fundamental rights are, I think, the right to education and all rights. Yes. It's a very important one. And fundamental like rights are. Right to speak out. Uh, yes, freedom of speech, yes. liberty, equality. Those are fundamental rights. Why are they not just rights? They are called fundamental rights because nobody can take it away from you. Not even the court of justice. Not even the court nor the government. If the government tries to take it away from you, you can approach them. So, court. So, fundamental rights to all the citizens. These rights, which nobody can take it away, take away from you. The state would safeguard the rights of minorities and backward classes. The state would make provisions to safeguard the rights of minorities and backward classes. So these were the objectives of our constitution. And it was passed on January 1947. Now, the this is this was all happening. Then came the Indian Independence Act of 1947. What is the Indian Independence Act? Hmm. So the Britishers agreed that fine. It was actually going to happen like two years later, like 1949. Yes, but the Indian government, the Congress said that the Indian leaders did nothing to do it. No two years, we want it now. It's not it's so they hard hard this about the war which are not World War II. Yeah, that was not the war. 1945. But there were still some of the effects, and that's why the British army was still a bit weaker. That's why. Britishers, yeah, the British economy was weak. weak. Yeah, yeah, that's they did not want to give. But still, it so happened that Indian Navy rebelled. Yeah. Indian Navy, they don't talk about that in your day. Indian Navy. They said we had too much. We want. We are on the side of national freedom fighters. They gave us a mutiny. They just said no. We don't want to fight on our side. And when the Indian Navy rebelled, Indian Army said they joined hands. That's when British realized Army and Navy goes against us. We can't just go on and stay. So jump can either can either jump. No that. So it's a. Uh, See, we did only talk about few freedom fighters, but there were many things that were happening on the side, which all added that pressure. So, anyway, Indian Independence Act, that is the act that the British has passed. They said, fine, we agree, you will get independence in 1947. August was declared as a month in which they will pass on okay? the rule. Uh, it is so. This act gave a legal sanction to the drafting committee. It was a legal sanction. Tab drafting committee bani hai? Arey jab India ko independence milega, tab ye constitution chahiye. Ah. Aise tha. Tab tak there was no fixed date. Now they got a legal sanction. Independence mil raha hai. August me 47. Now start the work. We need a constitution. So after the legal sanction, the work started with great pace. They draft, they prepared. Now, this was a constituent assembly, 299 members. Discussed objectives. Objective 
अभी किसी ने तो लिखने का काम करना चाहिए राइट right? लिखने के लिए यू नीड टू बी अ लॉयर और समबडी हु हैज डन अ लीगल स्टडी सो देन दोस हु हैव डन द लीगल स्टडी अमंग दिस ड्राफ्टिंग कमेटी सॉरी अमंग इन दिस व्हाट यू कॉल द कैबिनेट या दिस कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट असेंबली कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंट असेंबली उसने एक ग्रुप बनाया which was known as drafting committee ah okay so isme ek group bana that is called drafting committee and this drafting committee was given the job of drafting carrying out the job of drafting of the constitution so itna kitni badi country kitni diverse country ke rules banana Laws lekha and who was the chairman of this drafting committee? Doctor B R Ambedkar. So he was the chairman of the Doctor B R Ambedkar. And under his chairmanship, the board. He was doctor. So he was not medical, but doctor of medicine. Yes, he has done his PhD in law. Law. He has studied almost all the most of the major uh, constitutions of the world. So he it was a mammoth task. So they went through again all the major constitutions of the world, and uh, they tried to bring the or take. the best and best measures from every constitution and therefore india's constitution is the lengthiest constitution in the world oh oh it is the lengthiest the longest sabse bada constitution is india because they studied uh, french constitution they studied uh, american constitution they studied british constitution now british constitution is the only constitution which is not a written constitution ट्रेडिशनलीमोक्रेटिकली There is the royal family who controls most of the things. They don't control most of the things. They are like the president of India. They only sign. The prime minister and the cabinet ministers they do most of the things. Anyway, so Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar, uh, he is also called more popularly known as the architect of our constitution. He is also called the architect of Our constitution, and um, he tried to make our constitution uh, see. He, he tried to incorporate different principles in our constitution. अब तक जहाँ तक का समझ में आ गया? हाँ. First there was constituent assembly which was elected. उसके मेंबर्स वर इलेक्टेड बाय द प्रोडक्शन उसके बाद दे डिसाइडेड ऑन द थिंग्स दैट दे वर गोइंग टू लाइक मेन थिंग्स टू बी ऑब्जेक्टिव उसके बाद उसमें से सम पीपल हु वर डूइंग लॉ हु डिड लॉ और डिड इट देयर लॉस अगेन मेड द ड्राफ्टिंग कमेटी यस फॉर्म द ड्राफ्टिंग कमेटी सो वो ड्राफ्टिंग कमेटी में भी शायद 80 90 लोग रहे होंगे बिकॉज़ इट्स अ बिग ह्यूमंगस शो ओके एंड द चेयरमैन वाज डॉक्टर बी आर आर Who was the president of Constituent Assembly? Uh, Doctor Rajendra Prasad. Okay, Rajendra Prasad was the president. He was the chairman of the drafting committee, and the work started. Uh, what were the, the principles? He tried to incorporate different principles, important principles, uh, in the Constitution of India. Now, what were these principles? 
first of all he made the constitution flexible as well as strong a constitution is flexible you can always change the constitution it is not rigid you can change your constitution because this constitution was made in 1947 today it is 2022 times have changed needs have changed our demands change so therefore the way our constitution is it's flexible it can change with the changing times and we have changed it we have brought about changes many times so it is flexible yet it is strong yet there are certain things if you if in that uh, you cannot um, pass any or add any rule which will go against the basic structure of the constitution okay. it should not go against it should not no way you know hamper the okay. fundamental rights yes. or all those things so it is flexible yet strong so that it can sustain in any period during war as well as during peace that means you can like change it whenever you can just as far as you are not destroying it but yes. not you are not messing with the fundamental rights yes fundamental right is the basic structure equality freedom don't mess with that okay. it provides safeguards to minorities um so in the constitution there are standard rules given to safeguard the minorities so that they are not socially and educationally so that they don't remain socially and educationally backward okay so there are so many things like uh, reservation in schools government schools and government jobs for uh, the scheduled caste scheduled tribe all this is done so that they don't remain educationally and socially backward so they get a little bit of time your phone your phone my phone my phone then he also incorporated right to constitutional remedies in case anybody destroys or tries to take away your fundamental rights then you have constitutional remedy that means you have you can go to the court of law and appeal to against it if somebody so if somebody says oh i will not give you job because you belong to certain community Oh, that's against your that's your fundamental law. You have freedom. You can be of any community. Still, you should get the opportunity to succeed. You can seek constitutional remedy. Yes. We have this single citizenship. We can't be the citizen of two different countries. Can be either the citizen of India. Then you have to give it up, or give up the citizenship of India and be a member of citizen of India. So you can't be a two citizens. No. Okay. Hello. No one. No, no, no. You can go. You go home. I don't know. Ah. Hey, yeah, you go, you go. Okay, bye. Huh? Usne dalia baat na, usko usne mere change kar diya, aur main khud bhi hi. Very sweet. Acha, haan, there are like countries where you are allowed to have like two. Yes. Two citizenships. Like US has that. Yes, USA. Yes. USA has that. They USA, Malaysia, Singapore, Vietnam, and India. 
So now they say that we do have, but I don't know how it works because every book that I have taught all these years say that it is single citizenship. In uh, India, also in India, we don't. They have to give up Indian citizenship. They don't. So no, I think you can still. <laughs> there is single citizenship, single judiciary, and uniformity of fundamental rights. Okay. Very recent fundamental rights, Kashmir se Kanya Kumari tak sab ko same fundamental rights. Or you may belong to any religion, fundamental rights are same. Okay. There is single judiciary. Ek hi judiciary hai, Supreme Court, or uske subordinate courts. Single judiciary. And uh, directive principles to ensure social, economic, and democratic welfare. Those are the, uh, what do you say? He tried to include these are the principles of the constitution. So the draft was discussed. It so happened. Uh, they really worked thoroughly. The draft was discussed clause by clause. Wo jo drafting committee ne draft kiya. Phir wo jo draft ready hua. Wo constitute assembly ke saamne discuss hua. Detail me, draft by, uh, clause by clause. Ye aise clause hai. Uske ye sub, uh, sub, uh, sub clauses hai. Uska kya repercussions ho ghe? Kya se ho ba? Detail me. And this work, it started in 1948. Uh. The discussion started in November 1948. The reading was completed in October 1949. Ek saal ye kaam chala. They discussed every small clause, uh, clause of the constitution. And then uh, the constitution was finally passed by the constituent assembly. At the time of its signing, the constitution consisted of 395 articles and eight schedules. 395 articles. Uh, it's not just one book. Constitution is not one book. It's like there are different volumes, each dealing with one one subject specific. So there were 395 articles and eight schedules. As I said, it is the lengthiest constitution in the world. And finally, they decided that they will implement it on 26 January 1950. Now, why 26 January was selected? Why this date was selected? Because random, nothing happens. Indian National Congress. That was the only uh, organization where people, you know, all the leaders were members of. And this Indian National Congress met once a year. They had their meeting. So all the leaders of the whole of India were members of this Indian National Congress. And they met together at one place. There they discussed what the program of agitation against the Britishers would be for the rest of the rest of the year. In 1929, when the, there was Lahore session, this Lahore session of Congress means they met at Lahore. The meeting was held at Lahore, and in 1929, a resolution was passed for Purna Swaraj, complete independence. Uh -huh. That is the year when they said that now we, can, we want nothing less than Purna Swaraj. We want complete independence. Enough, enough of these. The small, small uh, concessions, enough of this. Now we will only ask them to go out of India. We want complete And uh, they decided that January 26, 1930, they decided we will be fixed that as first Independence Day. Uh -huh. We will celebrate that day every year as Independence Day. Okay, let's. That is the day we celebrate as Independence Day. We, this is who we want, Purna Swaraj, complete independence, nothing less. So that day was passed as complete Independence Day. 
And then you have to write the whole thing huh? at the Lama Group session of the Congress. Members who are to be elected indirectly by the provincial legislative assemblies and the busy states were to be represented by the members nominated by the rulers of the Yeah, 
ensure representation to only three categories and generate categories and so on. This is the complexity test that I saw when ensure that the component piece. And I can do it as single questions, schedule class, and schedule price for the application. Very good. That is the answer. So, virtually the cabinet. Mission plan, take a look at end of the background. Okay. 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 Who passed the resolution? Objective resolution. Who passed the objective resolution? Who proposed the resolution? Proposed it. Who proposed the resolution? Objective resolution. Now, with reference to objective resolution, explain the following. Ah, this one is the first one. Ah, who proposed the resolution? Ah, you know. Yeah. What is it? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. When was the resolution passed by the on June twenty, December thirty, nineteen forty six? Okay, December nineteen forty six. We have to be telling her, but see what your teacher says. Can I come up with December thirty, nineteen forty six? Okay. In the act, I get legal sign. Sign the P to constitute a sign. इंडियंडिपेडेंस है तुमको सारे आंसर्स मिल रहे हैं ना लेकिन तुम वही पे लिख दो ना तो लेके दे ना क्वेश्चन के बाद तो मैं कब आई ग्रेट लीडर सामने इंडियन इंडिपेंडेंस है स्टेट इन थ्री पॉइंट्स ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्टिव रेजोल्यूशन स्पेयर द थ्री पॉइंट्स पे स्पेयर सारे मार्क करो पर अगर ज्यादा है तो राइट वर्स की टेक्स्ट है हां बट Four principles that Baba Sir Ambedkar incorporated in the Constitution. So any four. Any four. Any four. First one is easy. Second one. Third one is also quick. Fourth one. Fourth one. Yeah, that is not it. Single citizenship, single judiciary, and uniformity in fundamental laws. To integrate. To integrate Indian society. लेकिन ये छोटे तुम्हारा आधा का कट हुआ था ये तो छोटा सा रहता है नेक्स्ट टाइम 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 टाइम